name is Craig Jeffrey. I'm the managing partner of Strategic Treasure. I wanted to introduce you to the 2016 Treasury Management System, Treasury Risk Management System Analyst Report. This 80 page report has two sections. The first is 20 pages, which provides a general overview of the, of the space, the trends, and issues. Then it's followed by 60 vendor specific pages detailing information about uh, some of the main offerings that exist within this domain. There's over 50 charts and graphics that help you understand the concepts. And this includes seven of the leading treasury technology vendors uh, within this report. The three reasons for issuing this report included, include first, the complexity and vast amount of information that, that has to be considered when selecting treasury technology. Second, the rate of change of, uh, that's occurring within the treasury technology space uh, requires current and updated information. And third, there's a complete lack of other in-depth and generally accessible information uh, that helps, helps organizations understand the treasury technology landscape and the options that are appropriate for your organization. So we focus on three, three areas for this video that, uh, that are in the report. First is what are the key factors that drive change within the treasury technology space? Second, what are the major trends and developments? And third, we provide a, a deep analysis of the overall treasury technology landscapes along with individual uh, analysis of the different vendors in terms of their position and fit, strategy, and strengths. So this, this report provides a market overview, and I'll highlight four areas for you now. The first is the treasury technology landscape. And as you can see from this graphic, we have three categories in the treasury technology landscape for treasury management systems. The first is cash systems. This is made up of the cash and visibility components. There's cash and risk. And then there's the global enterprise risk sector. And we describe what's in each of those areas in detail. We also have positioning by sector, size of organization, and the proportion of revenue that's allocated to TMS activity. Second area is major developments. What are the significant events, trends, and influences that are shaping the market, both from the vendor side as well as from the corporate uh, consumer? Uh, we also highlight specific vendor developments, what's, what's occurring with each vendor. Uh, third, we have an industry uh, breakout uh, uh, area, which talks and provides charts that show and uh, help you understand the systems, uh, help you understand entity ownership, client training, multilingual coverage, and the like. And fourth, we spend some time talking about product development. How are the organizations investing in the product to provide enhancements to meet ongoing needs uh, of the organization? Now, we also want to look at uh, and show you in this report vendor-specific categories. So the vendor-specific categories include uh, the company profile. So you understand the company that you're buying these products from, what the ownership structure is and how that's changed over time, as well as history, strategy, uh, professional services, customer service, growth, and trends that they're, they're taking. So we, we get into some details uh, in the, in the vendor specific area, each vendor has a significant number of pages that's dedicated to them. We begin with a company snapshot. This pictorial lead in is like an enriched infographic. It's, it's fortified with uh, quite a bit of slides and information about where they're located, rate of growth, uh, coverage, key trends and strengths. So in one page, you see all that information. And we also followed up with a company timeline, history of growth, expansion globally. Uh, we focus on customer service, customer growth, strategy tactics, and provide some screenshots. So on your screen, you can see one example of a, a, a pictorial lead-in, uh, and you can also see some shots of uh, screenshots of some of the some of the system solutions. I'm going to do a, a little deeper dive in a couple of the vendors uh, for this overview. It's Treasury Express uh, is uh, has a parent company called Box Automation Solutions. Their parent company is based out of Paris. Treasury Express was launched in uh, late 2015 in New York, and this really this, this part of the, the company focuses on North America. They're experiencing rapid growth globally, and they cover all regions of the world. And so their current expansion emphasis is on the Middle East, North Africa, as well as uh, North America. As we continue to look at Treasury Express, let's look at the product. So you can see from the chart that they fit into the cash and cash visibility sector. So they cover all the needs uh, in that space. Uh, it's offered as a SaaS solution uh, for Treasury Express, but they have a, 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 a sister product called C2 Box that is offered either on an installed or SaaS basis. Some of the key strengths are one, it's highly configurable and scalable. So you can start off as a very small company and grow, or you can be large uh, 
begin with. Uh, second is that there's multiple price points. And what's great about this is that uh, small companies that could not afford treasury management systems in the past now have a very uh, good entry level uh, price point that gets them leading edge technology at a very affordable price. And then finally, quick and efficient implementation is a key for uh, for many organizations, especially those who experienced you know, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, how hard it is to uh, implement some of the, the legacy technology. So it's very quick and efficient. So uh, with that, um, they provide system upgrades on, as, on a subscription basis, of course. Uh, so they're upgraded on, a, on at least a monthly basis. And they have over 125 clients. The majority of those clients are currently in Europe. Uh, but as I mentioned, they're expanding in North America. And so they look to sign sign up clients pretty much of any size. Uh, I guess the majority of probably fall in the range of 150 million in turnover to over 50 billion in sales. So as we uh, look at what the client experience is there, um, I want to focus on one area, which is networking and support. So they're releasing a uh, website portal that gives all of their users an opportunity to discuss not only with the product people, but also with each other to give feedback and to discuss how to use the system more effectively. Uh, they attend numerous regional conferences and they have 24 by 7 customer support in five languages in four locations globally. Now, the second vendor we wanted to emphasize and do a little focus on here was Reval. And Reval has over 625 clients across the globe. They're headquartered in New York and started in 1999. And in 2014, they made a significant expansion into the Japanese marketplace. And with that, they added support for double byte character sets. Uh, R&D is a huge emphasis for Reval. Uh, over 30% of their annual revenue is spent on research and development, which totals over 125 million over the life of the company. They have a significant presence in North America, EMEA, and a growing presence in Asia. And recently they were received a $20 million investment from Goldman Sachs to help them expand uh, their global reach. Uh, th as we talk about the product set, uh, they now cover all sectors of the treasury landscape. Uh, they began offering uh, what they call core, which is a more pre-configured offering that allows them to reach the mid-market companies, which were oftentimes too small to just justify the use of treasury management systems. So this, this focuses on visibility, control, automation of core functions. And then Choice is their, uh, the system that you've always known as Reval. It's really designed for companies that where you do a little more configuration, but can address the various treasury and risk challenges, advanced risk management, hedge accounting, et cetera. Uh, finally, they uh, offered a clear path migration service uh, in 2015. This was to provide a, provide a more audit, automated way of migrating from legacy technology to software as a service. Uh, one of the key strengths that, that Reval has uh, stems around data as a service. And this data is integrated into the TMS offering that's then able to be consumed by companies rather than provide some sort of extra integration effort. You can turn on the data. So other key strengths include customer service and overall client experience. And uh, where this comes from is uh, Reval has assigned an internal representative for each customer who acts as an internal advocate to solve uh, issues, questions, et cetera. So there's a, there's a specific point of ownership there. Um, they have five customer service locations uh, that provide 24 by seven customer support. And they attend uh, numerous regional conferences and also offer their own annual global client conference called Reval Connections, where peers can meet and they can provide information back to the client. So I wanna thank you for uh, watching this overall uh, overview video of the 2016 Treasury Management System, Treasury Risk Management Analyst Report. Um, and if you look on the screen, you can see information for downloading a soft copy of this report. Um, there's also, if you'd like more information or if you'd like a hard copy or to get on our physical uh, mailing list, please uh, see the information on the screen, the email address where you can contact us. Thank you very much for watching.